Welcome back to the Whiskey Couch. This is the place where we always have a lot of fun with whiskey and food combinations. My name is Gustav and you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Pairing Review number 264. I am having a wonderful time with a whole lineup of Glen Murray Elgin Classic bottlings from the Glen Murray Distillery. Today number four in the series that I'm doing and I'm really looking forward to this one. The Peated Single Malt from the Glen Murray Distillery. Where is that situated? In the Northern Highlands of Scotland in the Speyside region. That is a blow up of that tiny little bit. This is our Scotland map and there at the top in the El town of Elgin, just towards this, in this direction, you would see the Glen Murray Distillery situated on the banks of the River Losey. And that is where it is situated. Founded in 1897, owned by a company whose name I can never pronounce, La Martinique or something like that. And um, it is a no age statement no age statement peated single malt it says that in the blue banner at the bottom of the label for south africa 750 milliliters 43 percent abv matured in ex bourbon casks matured in ex bourbon casks so what do we expect from this single malt we expect that vanilla honey and fresh fruit flavors or flavor elements behind the peated aroma and flavor profile. We will see if that is the case. And then I'm going to tell you which of my whole batch of flavored meringues is the best flavor companion for this dram. Look at that. No mention is made about chill filtration or coloring added. Nevertheless, we're looking at a pale gold color and on the nose, wonderful sweet peat aroma. I would say a sweet fruity peat aroma. Not very similar to the I love peat. More, more fruity instead of the seaweed and medicinal qualities that I get in the I love peat aromas. And then the sweet vanilla. Oh, peaches and cream dusted with cinnamon. Almost vanilla cake. And then if you do the drop in the palm taste, you are left in the center of your palm. You're left with barbecue toasted bread. Barbecue bread that is toasted on a barbecue fire. Oh, on the palate, slonja. Smoky, earthy but sweet. The sweetness is the first thing that I get and then the smokiness and the earthiness and then there's a pepperiness together with the vanilla and some hint of citrus. What surprises me is a, a, a tropical fruit element as well. Some coconut there, very light. The finish is a short to medium finish with the sweet peat and the pepperiness. So definitely not a heavy complex, more a light thin, as is the case with all of these that I've done so far. For me personally, light bodied. Mm -hmm. If you do the empty glass test, then you're left with a sweet peat smoke aroma in the glass after an hour or two after you've finished the dram. 
a few drops of water, 43% ABV, so it's easy to put a half a teaspoon of water. See if it opens up a bit more, maybe there's some more aromas to be revealed. You can see the effect there of the water on the nose. Oh, it's a bit different now. Ooh. I'm picking up some fruit chutney. Barbecue burger. This is this bottle is becoming a more and more interesting experience on the palate. It was a bit thin to start with and now it's even thinner but the smokiness the vanilla cream and the pepper is still there like i've said with all of these bottlings in the lineup that i'm doing extremely good value for money but not very memorable not something that i will remember in a week or two's time but something that i will definitely personally would get for myself for an everyday enjoyable single malt I do not think in South Africa there is a single malt at this price, I must say. Below 300 Rand, which means 15 pounds, but I think in the UK it's a bit more expensive. I'm just translating the price from Rand to pounds directly. Maybe you can tell us what the price is in the UK. Food pairing. So the meringue that I've chosen for this guy is a Coconut flavored meringue. I always try to choose a flavor companion that would suit the, the character, the personality of the whiskey. This is a light, thin, um, youngish, vibrant, yet good value for money. So I can't choose a heavy food companion, flavor companion. So I'm choosing something light, something crispy, something that will melt away in your mouth, such as a meringue, but in this case, coconut flavor, because I want to connect with the fruitiness that is in this dram. So here we go. Coconut flavor, very light more vanilla and then coconut mm. and the peach some peach flavors just explodes after this pairing i have to try that again Mm. smoky peaches and cream and then right at the end peppery bitter dark chocolate see that is what i enjoy about good food pairings it enhances it makes the the, the taste experience so much broader what a lovely experience thanks for joining me on this journey and I hope to see you in the next final video in this series on Glen Moray whiskies. And after that one, Elna and I will reveal which one is our personal favorites. Until then, slanted.